The movie opens up in the new Dark Ages, in the future, where humans have mostly invested in genetic technology to counter the impending crisis of food and fuel. Unfortunately, the genetically mutated organisms and creatures escaped out in the wild, destroying all the edible plants and a significant part of the human population. The premise also mentions that an oligarchy now lives in a secure city called Citadels, leaving everyone else to struggle and starve for food. The scene then shifts to the main character, a 13-year-old girl named Vesper, searching for food around a soggy land. A round-shaped drone hovers alongside her. The drone accompanies her wherever she goes, and it turns out that it's controlled by her ill father, who cannot walk or speak. After collecting a strange food for the day, Vesper returns home and makes soup out of it. She then pours the soup into a plastic bag and feeds it to her father, Darius. Vesper feeds him with a pipe connected directly to his stomach. Following this, she walks out of her house to a secret place called the Old Lab, where she has kept a human skeleton and converses with it. Unfortunately, when she returns home, she notices something unusual and feels like someone has broken into her house. She enters inside to find everything scattered and her father suffering, as the generator which was powering Darius's medical equipment is destroyed. Vesper tries her best to repair the generator, but fails. Compelled, she then decides to visit her cruel uncle Jonas, who extracts young children's blood and sells them to citadels. In return, Jonas provides the children with whatever they want. In the following scene, Vesper approaches Jonas and asks him to help her. Jonas offers her to live with him, claiming to provide a better future, but Vesper refuses as she's not willing to leave her ill father. She then provides her blood to Jonas and asks for some special bacteria that could fix the generator in return. However, after extracting her blood, Jonas tells her that the stock of bacteria is currently finished and that she must visit there after two days to get it. Hearing this, Vesper gets enraged as her father won't survive for that long. But when she tries to complain, Jonas throws her outside the room. Desperate, Vesper secretly enters Jonas's lab and steals the bacteria. She also checks on his newly grown seeds and takes some samples for herself. After this, she quickly walks out of the place before anyone sees her. After reaching home, she at first fixes the broken generator with the help of bacteria and also shows her father the seeds that she took out of Jonas's lab. She wishes to work on the seeds and make them fertile. Darius tries to stop her from doing so and tells her that Jonas will surely find out about it. He also asserts that despite her intelligence and experiments, she will never get a chance to enter Citadel. Hearing these discouraging words from her father, Vesper leaves the house and keeps on running through the forest. Suddenly, she comes across an injured girl, Camellia, whose blood is being sucked out by some strange plants surrounding her. Vesper decides to help Camellia and plugs out the plants from her body. She somehow carries Camellia and brings her inside the house. Then she cleans her wounds and takes good care of her. Later, Camellia gains back consciousness and asks Vesper if she saw anyone else in the forest. Hearing this, Vesper asks her if she had any companions. Camellia replies that she came flying from Citadel to look around with her father Elias and suddenly their machine crashed in the forest. She then pleads with Vesper to go back to the forest and search for her father. At first, Vesper refuses, claiming that there's nothing in it for her. But when Camellia promises to take her to the Citadel, she agrees. Darius warns his daughter that they should not keep Camellia with them and that she can be a danger. But Vesper, who has now started dreaming about the Citadel, ignores him. At night, Vesper provides Camellia with the same food that she regularly eats with her father. As expected, Camellia, who has lived all her life in luxury, refuses to eat the food. The next day, Vesper heads out to look for Elias along with the drone. After searching for a bit in the forest, they locate the crashed flying object and find Elias trapped inside. Vesper tries her best to open the cabin and help Elias out, but fails. In the meantime, Jonas arrives there with his men and asks Vesper to step aside. He inquires about how she got information about the crash, but she remains silent. Following this, the cruel man approaches Elias and chokes him to death. As everything is unfolding, Vesper watches helplessly from afar. 
Jonas mentions that as the people of Citadel do not let him enter their city, he despises everyone who belongs there. After this, Jonas looks around the crashed vehicle and finds a piece of silk cloth inside. He smells the cloth and concludes that there was another passenger inside the aircraft. He asks Vesper if she knows about the other passenger, but she replies with a no. Shortly after, when the little girl gets ready to leave, Jonas reveals that if he can find the second passenger and submit it to the Citadel, he may get an entry to their town. In the next scene, Vesper returns home and lies to Camellia that she couldn't find her father. She mentions that the forest is too big and that it might take weeks before any clues are found. Hearing this, Camellia becomes sad and expresses her desire to join her search the next time. Later at night, Vesper takes Camellia to her secret lab, where she's grown some strange-looking plants that might have a chance of reproduction. If she succeeds in multiplying their numbers, it would be a huge breakthrough for humanity. Camellia is really impressed by Vesper's intelligence and states that Elias will be very happy when he sees all this. Soon, they return home, where Camellia tells Vesper about different animals that have already been extinct but still found in the Citadel. The next day, to get some extra fuel for the generator, Vesper secretly visits Jonas's lab. To her bad luck, Jonas is inside the lab and has grabbed Darius's drone. He pretends to repair the drone and plucks something out of it. Enraged, Jonas comes closer to Vesper and tells her that some seeds are missing from his lab and that he's also looking for the missing passenger from Elias's aircraft. But before he can do any damage, Vesper somehow manages to escape from the lab, carrying her drone. Outside, she tries to fly the drone, but fails. Right then, Jonas also asks his boys to follow Vesper. She tries to run through the forest, but sadly gets caught and tortured for a bit. Later, she returns home and immediately opens the drone to repair it. Camellia assures her that once Elias is found, he will repair the drone for her. Hearing this, Vesper cries and hugs Camellia tightly. She also feels bad for lying to her and finally reveals about Elias's death. Following this, Vesper takes Camellia to a pond where Elias's dead body can be seen floating. Devastated, Camellia breaks down and tries to drown herself in the pond, but Vesper somehow pulls her out. Just then, she notices a mark below Camellia's neck, similar to the one which is seen in a jug. The Jugs are artificial emotionless humans created by the residents of Citadel to assist them in work. This makes Vesper realize that Camellia isn't a nobleborn and that she cannot take them to the Citadel. When she demands answers angrily, Camellia reveals that she is an advanced Jug who has feelings and that Elias created her. Since creating an advanced Jug is a crime in the Citadel, they were kicked out from the city. After the bickering ends, the two return home. Vesper approaches her father and reveals everything. She also mentions that she's going to hand Camellia over to Jonas, but surprisingly, Darius stops her, saying that Jugs are very loyal to their masters, and that is why Camellia is acting this way. On the other hand, Camellia is in the other room, trying to kill herself. Fortunately, Vesper stops her in the nick of time and apologizes to her. Later at night, Vesper takes some cells out of Camellia's body and tries to use them to unlock the seeds that she obtained from Jonas's lab. She gives it her best, but becomes sad after learning that the cells of the jug also need to be unlocked before use. To calm her down, Camellia plays a cello, and surprisingly, with the tune, her cells begin to unlock by themselves. Seeing this, Vesper becomes very happy and tries to unlock the seeds using Camellia's cells. To everyone's delight, the plan works, and she is able to grow crops out of it. Unfortunately, the next day, Jonas arrives at their house and spots Camellia. He finds out that Camellia is a jug and tries to take her to the Citadel. However, the girls quickly fight back and manage to take control of him. Vesper then reveals to him that she has found a way to unlock the seeds from Citadel and will share it with him, but only if he doesn't tell the Citadel about Camellia. On their face, Jonas accepts the deal, but as soon as he gets out from there, he contacts the Citadel and informs them that one of their jugs is hiding in their area. At night, while Vesper is fertilizing the first batch of seeds after unlocking them, a strange kind of organism starts spreading inside their house, leaving a poisonous smell. 
With this indication, Darius understands that the Citadel's army can arrive anytime soon, so he urges the girls to run inside the forest and hide there. Unwilling to leave her father alone, Vesper refuses to go to the forest, but after Darius pleads with her, she agrees. After some time, the Citadel's army enters the area and first kills Jonas. It's because they don't want anyone else to know about their jug. Following this, they approach Vesper's house and find the drone telling them that there's no jug there. However, the army does not believe it and shoots it, causing the latter to trigger a huge explosion. Along with the soldiers, Darius also gets killed in the fire. Vesper notices the explosion and starts crying, remembering her father. Later, while Camellia and Vesper continue their journey through the forest, some soldiers start following them. Scared, the girls hide behind a dangerous plant which shoots fire-like bullets. The soldiers seem unfamiliar with the plant, and when some of them walk across it, the plant kills them instantly. Despite this, more soldiers show up and their numbers show no signs of decreasing. Realizing that the soldiers are there for her, Camellia decides to surrender herself and save Vesper. The little girl tries her best to stop her, but Camellia kisses her and puts her to sleep. The next day, when Vesper wakes up, she cannot find Camellia around and walks straight to her house, which has now turned into ashes. She plants some unlocked seeds in her backyard and joins the group of people who survived from Jonas's camp. Together, they follow pilgrims, who always cover their faces and collect hard waste to create a tower for themselves. At last, Vesper arrives at a tower prepared by pilgrims and starts climbing to the top. From the top, she looks at the beautiful city of Citadel and pulls out the remaining unlocked seeds from her pocket. She turns to the other side and throws the seeds in the air. The movie ends with the seeds flying in the air and spreading themselves around the barren land.